The purpose of this video is to simply demonstrate how an XSL file, standing for Extensible Style Sheet Language, could be used to transform XML input into web browser content output. We're going to work with this XML file that you see on your screen. You can see that it defines two addresses in different child nodes of a main parent called addresses, with address being a level down in the XML and repeated for each address. When we switch over to an XSLT file, we'll see what looks initially like a combination of HTML output for regular web content and XML elements. These XML elements are instructions that describe how that XML that we were just working with should be inserted into the HTML table. At the top of the page, we see a line of code, XSL style sheet. This defines this XML document, which is all this is, as a style sheet specifically intended to render content. The line XSLT template match indicates with its forward slash that the entire XML file should be evaluated when we're rendering our page. It's possible instead to indicate just a certain child level of XML depending on how it's structured. In this case, we just want to take the entire file and convert it into HTML. There's a very useful structure in XSLT called XSL for each. What this does is we can path to addresses slash address, which translates back to the addresses node and then all of its address nodes. And for each of the addresses, we can select content from them. So what's happening here is for each address, there's going to be a table definition populated with text from each node, street, city, state, zip. And then the parser is going to loop through all the addresses and generate table rows. So the next thing we want to do is to try this. The best way to do so is to map an XML file to use that style sheet, which has already been done in this case. There's an extra line of code in the XML file pointing to the style sheet where it's referencing it by its file name. With that line of code in your XML file, you can right click the file in Studio, choose View in Browser. And what happens as a result is an HTML table appears of all of the addresses. What's interesting to notice is that if you right click that file and choose view source internally it's still stored as XML so the web server did not send a formatted HTML document down to the browser it sent XML and a style sheet why this is significant is it shows that your web browser in this case Internet Explorer is actually the place where that transformation occurs to HTML which is why your source file does not show the HTML itself